Oh, well, we begin with breaking news out of Iredale County tonight. A suspect is dead after authorities say deputies shot him for pointing a gun at them. Well, good evening. Thanks for joining us for your news at 10. I'm Alicia Barnes. Queen City News anchor Morgan Francis is at the sheriff's office tonight with what happened. Iredell County deputies were executing a felony arrest warrant at a home on Bell Farm Road. They say the suspect was wanted for robbery with a dangerous weapon, second degree kidnapping, and was a violent, habitual felon. I have several phone calls that was made to me asking what was going on. Most neighbors along Bell Farm Road came home from work to see caution tape, deputies, and Iredell County Sheriff's Office cruisers surrounding this home. First, you couldn't even get down the road, really. The, you know, the road was blocked. The sheriff's office tells Queen City News they got a tip from the community that a suspect they were looking for was hiding out here. Action, they were hearing the cops yell, and it was very, you know, it's just serious things going on. While they're not releasing the suspect's name just yet, they say he was a violent, habitual felon who was wanted on robbery and kidnapping charges. I send the kids sometimes because the property is, my property is adjoined to their property in the back. Sometimes I see the kids out here playing, but I don't know them. After searching the property, deputies found the suspect hiding, armed with a rifle in what they're describing as a hidden crawl space. They say that suspect pointed the rifle at the deputy, who in turn shot and killed him. It is our family, and as you know, when you have something like that happen near you, you do worry. Mm -hmm. Because then, you know, when your kids are left at home or, you know, anything like that, and the neighbor's right next door now that you know that he lived there, you know, that is, it's very scary. The deputy wasn't injured, but was placed on administrative leave, which is standard procedure. The Iredell County Sheriff's Office contacted the North Carolina State Bureau of Investigation to investigate, which is also a standard procedure. In Statesville, I'm Morgan Francis, Queen City News.